Hi guys, it's Zayant with my first official update video with some rush attack on Valparaiso from a couple weeks ago in the background. Uh, I haven't been playing Battlefield too much. In fact, I haven't been playing multiplayer games too much. Call of Duty mostly. Hate me if you must. To be honest, I don't really plan on playing much more Battlefield. Or at least I didn't plan on doing it until I got an idea for a big-ass project in my head. It's called... Uh, I was going with... Now that's what I call OP or something to that effect. I was going to talk about the OP weapons in Battlefield and, and things of that nature, like the FAMAS and the USAS with frag rounds. And I wanted to do them before and after the patch. We don't really have an ETA on the patch, so I could spend, you know, all kinds of time doing every weapon in the entire game, and the patch may still not come out. And I have this whole series of pre-patch videos that become instantly moot, and I have to do them all over, which would not be particularly fun for anyone involved myself included. But I, I really want to do this because I feel like I don't want to become this one-trick pony that can only do tips for clips or quips for clips or whatever small two-minute videos with clips involved. I really want to up my production bias to a whole new level, not like Xbox Ahoy or Jimmy the Snake or any of them, but something that I can really test my own video making skills. And Right now, I've never done something like this before, and so I had no idea the sheer amount of planning that goes into something of that magnitude. There are so many more factors than I can get done in the weekends I spend away from you know, college, and as much as I would love to put out a video a week like Xbox Ahoy did back in the day, and it, it's just not in the cards right now. I, I have spring break coming up and I'll probably get the pilot done and put that up on the T3 channel just so there's a larger majority of you who can see it. And eventually I want it to go up on DRMB, or Battlefieldo, or you know, Pixel Enemy Revive, or even the Pixel Enemy main channel, I have some connections through the T3 channel there. But I don't want to do it half-assed. I want it to be as good as I am currently able to make it with Photoshop and Premiere, which are the two programs I'm going to be using. I want color overlays, I want charts, I want fade-ins, fade-outs like you've seen in my other videos. I want some really cool music that I'm going to have to find off of Overclocked Remix. And there's just a whole bunch of stuff that I haven't even thought about that I, that goes into a video like this. I have to learn so much more about Photoshop. I have to learn so much more about Premiere. I have to plan out what I want to say. I have to plan out the order in which I'm going to say it. I have to plan out the charts I'm going to use, if I'm going to use charts at all, if I'm going to use tables, what sort of background am I going to use. There's just so much stuff I hadn't even considered because when you watch a video like Xbox Ahoy or Jimmy the Snake or any of the really you know high production value stuff you don't think about all the planning and all the thinking that went into a, a video like that what did they have to do you just enjoy the video you think oh that's awesome I want to do that but then you actually think about planning a video like that and you suddenly at least I suddenly find myself at a roadblock how the hell am I gonna do this and that's a difficult place for me to be in with as little time as I have to myself. Normally, I, I don't have access to the big computer that I can record and make videos on. I have a really crappy three or four year old laptop that I have to do all my stuff on. So with what little time I do have, I want to get it right. And with spring break, I'll have a full week to get it right and get it out to you guys so that you can give me as much critical feedback as possible. And I do want critical feedback. That would be the best thing you guys can do for me. Because without you guys, I'm just some guy talking to a microphone on the computer, and that's really weird. So you guys can make it a little less weird for me by leaving your thoughts in the comments below. I'll leave links to any videos I mention in the description as well. But anyway, so thanks for watching, guys. I should have some more content for you soon. See ya.